Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to respond to what has been requested all 106 episodes of this series. How to make a tool. So if you guys have ever played a game with tools, which actually, there's a lot that don't. A lot of them make fake tools, like they don't show up in your backpack. Or anything, they just kind of are there and you can use them. Uh, there's a lot of those, and there's also a lot of games with tools. But today we're going to use a tool correctly by putting it in their backpack and all that. And you guys will understand this in a few minutes. Alright, so first we're actually going to take this guy, copy him, paste him. Alright, let's just drag him over here. Um. I'm going to change him back to plastic there. Alright, so now I'm going to change his color to be just kind of grayish um, right now. And I'm also going to make him taller, alright? Little bit taller. Now go over to properties, and we're going to name this instead of, actually no, I'll worry about name in a second because that's actually really important. We'll go in. We'll get rid of his spotlight and add a point and get back to the point light. Change it to white, just pure white, and make it a lot less rangy. Like 20. No, that's still too huge. Uh, we'll go 10. Alright, you guys can look over here at this. 10 seems to be working just about fine right here. Alright, so now here's the important part. The thing about tools is tools have quite a few rules as to how you have to make them. One of these rules is you have to name the object that the player directly holds. The object that goes directly in the player's right hand. Remember, tools are always in the right hand unless you script it and do some fancy stuff. But it's always in... Uh, the handle has to be in the right hand according to the tool. You can script it differently, it's just not easy. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to name this light, we're going to name it handle. Handle is one of the rules. You have to name that piece handle. The part they actually hold in their right hand has to be called handle. Alright, and we're actually going to disenable this point light real quick. Alright, so it has to, has to, has to be called handle. Alright, next up we're going to insert into workspace a tool. So let me bring up a basic objects here. There we go. Alright. So we have to insert a tool. Hopper bin has a similar logo, but we'll go over hopper bins later. Usually people go with hopper bins first, uh, but hopefully you guys can understand my madness here soon. Alright, so this tool we will name light just like that just name it light it doesn't matter what you name the tool we're going to click the handle and drag it into light okay so now this tool is light this is still the brick we can move this light but we cannot resize it because it's a tool it's not the handle that's only selected right now we will now cut the light and paste it into starter pack starter pack is where every tool is you guys I've probably gone to games where you start out with tools and you're wondering well how did I automatically start with those did they have a script for that well you could script it pretty easily too but it's actually a lot easier to just make Roblox do it by putting it in the starter pack the starter pack is what every player starts out with no matter well I don't want to say no matter what because you can script it and there's really no no matter what's in Roblox because you can always script it differently alright so now that we've gotten that we're going to press F6 and we're going to see how well this works here yes yeah, so load studio load studio load studio Mario 64 alright so you guys see in my tools I have light I'm going to take out this light, and you guys see quite the big issue. The light's still over there, but I'm all weird and floppy and stuff. 
Well, that's because there's a few other rules that are really important. And I purposely did this to demonstrate how important they are. Now, a couple of the rules are kind of useless for right now. Uh, because we only have one brick in our tool. But the rule that's really useless right now is you always have to weld the parts together. And don't worry, we will get to this in a later project. Welding everything so that it stays together. But right now, we just have to make sure that our handle is unanchored. That way it can move. Being unanchored fixes at least a couple issues. Alright, keep on loading image by Mario Star 6464. Alright, so now we walk over, we use our light, and there we go. We've got a big brick on our hand, and it moves with us. Tomorrow, what we will be working on is making it so that when you click, the light turns on. When you click again, it turns off. That's all we're going to be doing, and hopefully, it's a pretty fun project. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.